So, I'm finally getting around to doing Box 1 by Neil Patrick Harris. Uh, this is going to be my attempt at figuring out what the heck this is. Uh, I got recommended this through, uh, through friend recommendations, and they say it's like a puzzle room in a box, but it's only for one person, and I want to share it with you guys. So, that's what we're going to do today. Um, we're going to do this for a little bit, and I might have to break this up into different sections, but... Uh, we're gonna see what this is all about. So we're gonna open it up here. I think I can open it with this. We'll see. Just puncture there. I don't want to break anything, it, just in case. I don't know how fragile this is, so we will see. Um, here we go. Trash can. I keep checking my camera. I'm still figuring stuff out here. Okay, so this is indented. It, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little indent there, but I thought that would actually do something, but it's not. If you look on this side, there is some kind of... <laughs> you guys can't see this. Oh, I, I think I can see it in the light there. You can actually see this. You can see an A here, right? Check this out. So this is... Warning, this is spoilers. So there's U equals A. Um, I think you can see that in the light there. Uh, yeah. So if you look at the inside box, you look at it first, you're like, oh, there's nothing. You throw it, throw it aside, but I'm sure that's got to be something, right? Everything is something. I hope I didn't just find out the biggest clue or anything. That'd be, that'd be sad. But, um, yeah. So the sign has, it looks like this. Again, I, this will be spoiler. I have no idea what I'm spoiling or how I'm spoiling. I guess I'll show you this way. Um, it says Neil Patrick Harris. It says Theory 2. It says Box 1, of course. Uh, all the sides look kind of the same here. Um, but this one is different. It has a copyright. Maybe there's some information. It'd be really funny if this is like a code or something with the, the QR code there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, but anyway, so we now know U equals A. <laughs> U equals A right there. Okay, so let's see what we got. Hey, friend! And I guess, like, you open the box, you look at it, you're like, you, are, you just chuck this aside. But I have really good lighting, so I'm able to see this right now. That's funny. Uh, so maybe you just chuck that aside, maybe you don't even think about the box as part of it, but everything is part, so we're gonna keep this, we're gonna keep this right there. Um, anyway, box one, it says, hey friend, I wonder, can you read this along with me if I do it this way? Maybe. Hey friend, it's your friendly friend, friendly friend, Neil Patrick Harris, I hope you're alone and excited to challenge yourself, because you're about to dive deep into my crazy awesome new game, box one. You'll be using all of the items you find inside to complete the box one challenge. Technically, the inside of the box is the inside the box, right? Um, inside to complete the box one challenge. Are you by your, yourself right now? Seriously, are you? Okay, great. So, I mean, technically? Yeah, yeah. The game involves a series of challenge cards that you need to play in order. Follow every instruction strictly and, uh, and keep your eyes peeled. As you never know when this game might take a turn, use the notepad and pen to jot down any thoughts or clues that you discover along the way. Feel free to consult the internet for any help you may need. To begin, find the black envelope in the game box. Okay. We'll take a look at all the stuff in here in a second. But find the black envelope in uh, the game box. It contains, import it contains an important message inside. Read it now. After that, open the box of challenge cards and read the first card. If you truly get stuck and need a hint, visit www.box1game.com slash help. Good luck. NPH is, of course, Neil Patrick Harris. A game for one created by one. Interesting. So apparently this is by Neil Patrick Harris. He's a smart dude, I've heard, so I'm trying to see if there's any other things to see on this. I'm trying to get, like, angles of light here, but I think, I think this is pretty, pretty calm as it is. Okay, so we're going to put that in the box over here. We'll put stuff that we've already used in this box. We just have to remember that U, or what, U equals A, right? So we can go ahead and do that. We have a pen here. I wonder if you can take it apart. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Guys. So I took the pen apart, and there's this little piece of paper in here. Um, yeah, stay curious, guys. I'm doing this before I even find the, uh, the box, the, the, the thing in there. Anyway. What do you do with a pen? Take it apart? Okay. So we're going to take this off carefully. Maybe we can't take it off. It's like taped. Let's see if I can show you guys this. Insert the tip of this pen in the eye found in the bottom of the game box. Pushed open. Um, I mean... <laughs> One more time just so you guys can see. Insert the tip of this pen in the eye found in the bottom of the game box. Pushed open. So if we look at the bottom... I feel bad, though. Oops. I feel bad, though. There's a lot of challenge cards. I feel bad because we're supposed to open this first. 
But anyway, there's the three things there. There's an insert. It looks like there's stuff under the insert. We'll pull this up in a second. But there is a hole there. Yeah. Age is 14 and up. Box one, I never, I didn't read this. Presented by Neil Patrick Harris. Uh, box one is an ever-evolving game of trivia, code-breaking, and puzzles. Uniquely designed to challenge only one person. I'll see if I can get this up here so we can read together. Challenge only one person, and it seems that person is you. Uh, I'm trying to read there. And only you alone. Pause the video if you want to read this. Prepare to set out, all, out on an exciting adventure like no other as you discover... Uh, unlock and decode the secrets of box one a game for one created by one designed in the USA okay so before we do the pen thing before we lift up the insert before we look at these I'm wondering I almost want to flip through this and see if there's anything that remarkable on this but it looks like all these pages are are sane there's no flip book or anything no you got a little thumbprint there the lock doesn't change. Yeah, we're gonna assume this is this is okay. Oh, especially if you start ripping these off, then they're out of order anyway. Yeah, this looks like this looks like it's okay. Okay, let's open the little black envelope. Oh. Okay, so the envelope isn't really an envelope, it's a little side envelope, not a real envelope. It kind of feels like there's more in here, but maybe that's just the thick paper. Yeah, we might have to take this apart later. Okay. You will need this card later. Oh, here we go. So, it says you will need this card later. That's okay. But if you look here, see if we can get the lighting again. Because the lighting, uh, maybe you guys can't read this on here. I can't get it to show. There it is. It says, meet me. Yay for good lighting, guys. I wonder if I should just use my phone and use the flashlight. Meet me at the top. I'll just read it for you guys. Meet me at the top of the hour. On the staff live chat, you will need the second key. 23, 10. Okay, so I'll write this out here. Might as well use the pen as we go. Pen, okay. So we have, first off, we had U equals A. And now this is 23, 10, 16, 14, dash, 21, 13, 7, 22. So again, it looks like a white card, right? But then there's actually like, lettering on it if you get the, the angle of the light correct. Oh, that's pretty good. Sure. Okay. Okay. Um, before we do the insert, I want to see what happens when I push the pen. Insert the tip of the pen in the, the eye found at the bottom of the game box. Push it open. Okay, that's not doing much. Let's see what happens if I take the insert off. Maybe it needs to do something here. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay, so also... This feels awfully heavy. The insert has something in it. Even This is the false bottom here or something. Let's push there. Take this up. There's more to, There's more than meets the eye. This is kind of exciting. There's a bunch of stuff. This is a little heavy envelope. There's also something in here. Okay, so there's got to be something in there that feels pretty solid. This is very clever. Um, It doesn't look like I can open it anyway, though. This all looks legit. There's got to be a way to take this off. Sorry, this. Got to make sure I'm in, in frame here. So that was a false piece here that came off. I wonder if there's lettering on this. That looks almost magnetic. This is magnetic? Okay, I don't have anything. It's glass. <laughs> I wonder, I don't know. I'd have to try put it on my fridge or something. Okay, uh, but anyway, there's nothing. Yeah, I'm looking at the light here. There's nothing on this one. This is just velvet. This is nice. But this is a smooth black surface. Okay. I'm still skeptical about this thing, but it doesn't look like I can get this off anyway without breaking it. Maybe I have to actually like puncture it and cut it open. I wonder. Okay, we'll put that in the box. And then the bottom of the box has this... has something going on. There is definitely something here. In, oh, I can just do this, I think. But... or that. Huh, that worked for a second. Push it open, and then we got this, and we can do this. Sure. There we go. Okay, so this completely unfolds. Well, not completely. This part doesn't. Oh, I just marked a lot there. That was... Oh, well. It's got graffiti on it now. There's a map in here of some sort. So here... Yeah. It says, look inside the bottom of the card holder. 
cipher password is B Y K P E A E. So I got a bunch of codes. I got a bunch of stuff I don't really understand. But I'll write these all down. B, is that a Y or a 4? I'll write a weird looking 4Y thing. K, P, E, A, E. Now I'm saying, I think it's a Y just because all the other letters are, all the other symbols are letters. But that's down here. Yeah. Let's see if I can get that in the shot. That's number two. There is a south at the bottom. I think that's an S anyway for a south. Um, over th over here it says three. I told you that you will need this later. Well, now is the time. You must hold it up to a bright light to continue. Yeah, that's the that's the card there. Um, sometimes the brightest ideas emerge uh, in the blink of an eye, or in this case, the snap of a flash on the inside box lid. Huh. Other password. I'm not going to write all these passwords down. You will need to find the key on my desk in my room, Cypher. Okay, okay, okay. So this is really thick. This piece is really thick. And I think that might just be to keep it on the bottom, to keep it hidden from view in here. But we're going to put those all aside. So now what we're left with is the envelope, which I think is empty. But there might be something that we have to rip apart here to open this up. Because the back part is really thin. The back part here is really thin, but this is really thick. So I want to see. I wonder... I wonder, I wonder. We got our little notepad with uh, different things in here going on. We got our challenge cards, which is what I'm kind of excited about to get into now. We got this heavy thing that was hidden. We got my little letter opener there that I don't think we'll need that for a while. Uh, we got our pen that wasn't really a pen. <laughs> There's nothing inside here. Nothing inside there. That looks okay. We'll need this card later. And we got our false back. I'll throw that in the box as well. Okay. Okay. Um, what do we do first? I think, I think, according to our instructions, let's go, let's go back and figure out what the heck we're doing. This is all in real time. I've never seen this before. This is all new. I just dropped the instructions like a real person. It's all real. It's all, there's no lights and cameras. Well, there's lights, but no camera tricks. Um, okay, so it says to begin, find the back, a black envelope in the game box. It contains an important message inside. Read it now. You will need this card later. Okay. And then you're not supposed to see that it has the cool secret message. With the second key or whatever. Okay. Read it now. After that, open the box of challenge cards and read the first card. Okay. So let, this will hopefully give us a little direction here. There, Guys, if you guys look at all these cards, there's also E equals zero there. That's cool. So I'm sure that goes with the U equals A thing. So I'll go ahead and write that E equals zero. These are... Okay. <laughs> this is delightful. This whole, this whole set is delightful. So if you look at here, these are all challenge cards, right? And you start peeling them off, but then you realize as you get to about there... These aren't actually challenge cards. These are all just stuck together, and then that's a false bottom into a false box here. Uh, that's magnet. That's actually ma that one's actually magnetic. It kind of feels like it's off. Maybe this uh, this feels a little better. Um, there is. I'm I'm looking for secret messages everywhere now, so that's fine. The rest of this looks fine. So we got the first card here. There, <laughs> just by feeling the cards. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. What the heck? Look at this. Cards are like cut out. This is crazy. Okay. Anyway, try not. They're all numbered, so that's that's good. But we can keep them like this. So we'll try to keep it nice. We'll try to keep it good. There's nothing inside this box. It looks like there's no, yeah, there's no light tricks or anything I can do to figure that out. Challenge cards. This the box looks legit. Looks looks fine. Other than the e equals zero that you find at the bottom. Maybe you're supposed to keep these in here and pull, peel off one at a time. But oh well. Here we go. Welcome to card number one of box one. I'll put this up here. I'm going to move these away just so you're not distracted. Because I'll keep reading all of them anyway. Okay. Let the camera focus. Okay. Welcome. If I do this, this is what all the makeup channels do. Oh, well. There. If I can read it, you guys can read it, I think. So welcome to card number one of box one. There we go. Prepare to take a journey. Oh my god. Like never before in this ever-evolving game of... Come on. Three. Two. Of trivia. Puzzles. Riddles. And cryptic ciphers. Okay. Cry cryptic codes. Okay. I really hope that you are the one in uppercase. You are the one. Does that mean U equals one? No, U equals A. Okay. To successfully complete box one, you must follow all my instructions very carefully. Now take a deep breath. Dot, dot, dot. I assume we go on to question number two. We have to follow the instructions, guys. So deep breath. If you want to play along, you can take a deep breath with me. Here we go. One more time, just for fun. And let it out. 
Okay, you can now go back to breathing normal. Did you do that? Okay, we have to breathe normal. That's part of the thing, right? Fantastic. Just a simple test to see if you're good at following directions. Okay. Again, there's nothing funny on the backs. I'm, I'm really skeptical about everything. The number of dots on the side here. There's little dots right there on each one, but I think those are the same. Okay, we're going to keep these. We're going to put them face down here in order. Feels like a magic trick. Number three. Now take the card from the black envelope, put it in your freezer, and leave it there. Seriously, you have to do it once you've done that. Come back and keep playing. Neil Patrick Harris is a, is a crazy, crazy man. Okay, uh, where did our black... Oh, there. This one. So this is the card from the envelope. We have to put this in the freezer. I'm going to go put this in my freezer. Um... Yeah, I'm wondering how fast I can finish all this, because I do have to go in the middle. Seriously, you have to do it once you've done that, come back and keep playing. Okay, so we put the card from the black envelope and we put that in the freezer we, we left it there okay number four it says stop the next card is super important okay proceed when ready we're taking a minute to stop here we're gonna look at this card i'm, I'm totally skeptical about everything guys uh i found like barely getting into the box i found a lot of hidden hidden stuff so i want to make sure i got everything i'm very very skeptical so stop we're gonna check out this card make sure the dots are the dots doing it hold on this is called going to the movies. I've learned from Magic Channels. If the uh, if the things are moving, you can do a little flash card thing, and I don't think the the dots are moving. That'd be funny if they were. That'd be a good place for a little code. Okay, that's where we stopped. Okay, number five. Now make sure you play you play all. It's uppercase. Why is it uppercase? Make sure you play all the cards right underneath me in order. Okay, ready, set, go. Now. Play, look at this. Play all right. I'll have uppercase words. I'm going to double check all these and see if there's anything funny about that. Uh, outside of ca uh, starting letters. Box one. Box one is just the name. That is a proper noun in this case. Okay, I want to say the play all the cards right. I want to say that's a, that might be something there. So we'll come, we'll make sure to highlight that one. I'm going to keep five over here because I think that's a little strange. Yeah, if you guys can't read this, I can and I'm, I'm right. Using the capital letters from the previous card, solve this. Blank is the capital of what country? We look at this. Oh, and set. I didn't see set, uh, so I'm missing a little bit. Yeah, so if you... Anyway, I'm missing in. So if you look up Play all right in set. That spells Paris. Paris is the capital of what country? Paris is obviously the capital of France. Okay, so I think five and six are done. What is the most famous landmark in that country? That is the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. E-I-F-F-E-L? Oh, shoot. <laughs> T-O-W-E. <laughs> Oh my god. There's two F's in Eiffel Tower, right? E-I-F-F-E-L? Oh my god, I'm gonna be so mad if I'm mad if I'm wrong. Eiffel Tower. That looks right. I don't okay. Eiffel Tower, uh, so that's a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. And a seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay. Use the letters in a specific order from the previous answer to complete this quote. There is nothing so important as, and then it says, who said this? There is nothing as important as, and then seven. Let's go ahead and do this. Seven is T. Eleven is R. Truth. Truths. Now there's no U. <laughs> um, two is I. Number three is F. Uh-oh. This doesn't look like anything. Six. L. Trifles? There's nothing as important as trifles. I think I need the internet for this one. Who said this? Keyboard. We still got a black box, a black envelope here that we haven't opened. That was still, still secret. I think we're not supposed to find that yet. But let's go ahead and look up this. So Google. 
Uh, there is nothing so important as trifles. That's the right quote, at least. Who said this? This is, I'm gonna, oh, I was gonna make a guess, but no, no, I'm not gonna say it. This is Arthur Conan Doyle. Arthur. I'll do this. Arthur Conan Doyle. Again, this is all spoilers. I'm not gonna try to find help from anyone else. Um, if you want to do this on your own, I really recommend you get this on your own. This is kind of cute um, before I get too much further into this. Arthur Conan Doyle. Okay. Uh, I -A, a R T H U R Conan Doyle. Yeah, that fits. Cool. Number eight is done. He His most popular character was... This is what we need to nerd it for. I should know who this is, huh? Oh, Sherlock Holmes? I'm looking at the thing. Sherlock Holmes. Okay, so we got Sherlock. Holmes. Oh, and check this out. Check this out. We're missing information here. Yeah, if you look at these two, I just realized the pattern here. If you look at 7 and 10... Uh, let me get my camera back up so I can make sure that we're doing this. If you look at 7 and 10, two words are circled. So on 7, the word is famous. I'm going to put that up here. 7 is famous. And uh, number 10 is stories. Okay, so we got 7, 8, 9. <clears throat> this, the, this character had a partner in the stories whose name was Watson. Watson. Watson is the next bit for number 10. I'm going to put numbers next to these. So that's 10, this is 9, this is 8, I think. Let me make sure. 7 was Eiffel Tower. Um, 6 was Paris. These are the circles. Okay. Keeping my notes good, I think. Let me make sure all my cards are in order. I'll be sad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Okay. Use the name from the previous answer. This female, this female actress launched her career in a series of movies about a boy named. There's a female actress named Watson. Oh, isn't that the one Harry Potter? Yeah. Okay. That took me longer than I'm happy about. Let me do this again. Um. Pretty sure. Yeah, Emma Watson, right? Emma Watson about a boy named Harry Potter. So number 10 was Watson, 11 is Harry Potter. This is kind of cool. We went from, um, what, Paris, France, to Eiffel Tower, to Arthur Conan Doyle, to Sherlock Holmes, to uh, Emma Watson, to Harry Potter so far. Uh, this female actress launched her career in a series of movies about a boy named Harry Potter. Daniel Radcliffe. He was most well known for having a blank on his forehead. That would be a scar. I know more about Harry Potter than I do about Sherlock Holmes. That's just sad. Okay, this is interesting. Answer from previous card. Oh, okay, you just put that there. But it is a weird thing. Uh, number 13 is movie. Okay, so I'm also seeing a pattern here. This is every three since seven. So seven, ten, th thirteen uh, for the circled things. Um, so let me go back and double check that there's not one circled on, what, what would that be, four? There isn't. But the word stop is big. Stop famous stories movie. I don't know. Okay. Answer from previous card. Harry Potter was the villain. I'm sorry. Scar? Oh! The <laughs> Scar was the villain? How was Scar? Lion King. Okay, um, Scar was the villain in what animated movie from 1994? The Lion King. So we got Lion King. 13 is Lion King. If this gives me to James Earl Jones, I'll be happy. When you take your opponent's last word, when you take your opponent's Lion King. Oh, last word from the previous answer. You win at the game of chess. Chess. Okay. And we broke our pattern there of every three. We also got a circled word, win. Famous stories, movie, win. In the rules of the game chess, the color blank is always supposed to go first. White. I don't know why I'm writing all these down. I just to keep, keep me sane. 
The red house is on the white street, and the blue house is on the red street. Where is the white house? That's the easiest one in the book, Washington, D.C. One more time, just for fun. Where The red house is on the white street, and the blue house is on the red street. Where is the white house? Washington, D.C. The longest answer from the previous card, Washington, is found in front of the... Uh-oh. Well, these were going really easily, and now I got stumped on this one, I think. Longest answer from the previous card, Washington, is found in front of the... I'm thinking like the Washington Monument, but I don't know where that's found. Um, it gives us a little bit of hint here with the, the second letter in the first word N, that kind of thing. I'm gonna say one, I don't know. I don't know. In front of the Built to commemorate once commander in chief in front of the white. Is it in front of the White House? Close to the longest answer from the previous card. Isn't that Washington? W A S H I N G T O N D C, right? Hmm. Washington. Oh my god. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. For those of you that are screaming at your computers. Uh, or your phones, wherever you're watching this. Uh, of course, Washington is found on the front of the $1 bill. Yeah, I got, I'm, I'm fine. Sorry, guys. Got a little, little brain fart there. 17 $1 bill. $1 bill. I'm going to start a new page here, I think. On the back of the $1 bill, there are the famous words in English and in Latin. E pluribus unum, if I remember correctly. Bill is 18, is Latin. Aha! This is our first bitten card. If you look at this, it looks like a, a rabbit or something with buck teeth took a bite. The previous card's answer, I keep forgetting to check the back of these cards, but I guess since I'm putting them down, it looks okay. The previous card's answer, the, the Latin word for lapis, is blank. Isn't that... gem? No. I'm also thinking blue, but I need five letters. Lapis. Sky? No. Cloud. Lapis in English. Yeah. Uh -huh. Stone. Oh, that makes sense. Not gem or stone or gem, but gemstone. Stone. Okay. Nineteen is stone. I'm running out of room on this paper. I might need to start a new page. Um, stone. Okay, how many more of these cards do we have? Okay, so we're going all the way to 25. We're almost there. Remember, I don't have to do the whole the whole thing here. There's That's a box of stuff. But this is kind of cute. Last word from the answer to card number 13. Oh my god. <laughs> First name from the answer. And this, 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 this right here is why we write answers down, guys. This right here. See this? You see this? This is, this is why. Last word from the answer to card number 13 is Lion King. So that's King. Last, uh, first name from the answer to card number eight is Doyle, King Doyle. Pulled a blank from a stone, right? King Doyle, isn't that Arthur? Oh, first name, okay, King Arthur, there it is, not King Doyle. King Arthur, I, I can't read correctly. King Arthur pulled a sword from a stone. Okay, is that just to make sure we got everything correct up to this point? The silent letter in answer from the previous card oh, is what number in the alphabet? Oh, so, okay. Number 20, I, I have a new word here. 20 is sword. Follow me on this. Here we go. King, Arthur, 
pulled a sword is our word from a stone sword is our word okay so sword the silent letter in the answer from the previous card is what number in the alphabet so we got sw is the silent letter so this is number 21 is t let's see s is 19 t is 20 u is 21 v is 22 w is 23 23, 24, 25, 26, WXYZ. Yeah, okay. 23. The answer is 23. Everything comes back to the number 23. Any Jim Carrey fans out there? It's number 23. The answer from the previous card represents a legendary athlete with a nickname. The great Larry Bird jersey, 33. Uh, who's 23? Guys, I don't know athletes. I'm so sorry. Uh, 23... Athlete. LeBron. There it is. LeBron J. I just watched Space Jam. Um, but I don't think that's right. Legendary athlete with a nickname? Oh, his nickname. LeBron James' nickname? LeBron James' nickname. Isn't Braun? They just call him Braun in the thing. He's called King James. L Train? The Chosen One. These don't fit. Is he the right guy? Are we in the right ballpark? LeBron James was given a few nicknames. Space Jam. <clears throat> what was Jordan's number? He's 23, isn't he? Yeah, we're going to go with Michael Jordan, nickname. It says legendary athlete. Uh, LeBron is good and all, but he's not a legend yet, I would assume by this. Um, Black Cat. Nope. First nickname, Magic Jordan. Madge Jordan. Mr. June, jersey number, cool name. Hmm. Air Jordan. Let's go with Air Jordan. Because it fits, guys. That's the only reason it fits. Air Jordan. I've heard that one before. Kind of makes sense to me. I like it. It fits. J-O-R-D-A-N. Yeah, it fits. Okay, that's number 22. <clears throat> number 23. While I am in the air, first word answer from the previous card, I am not in oxygen. I am also Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, this is about actual letters and words. But not in Bob Smith. I am necessary to the game, but I am not in the rules. What am I? Okay, so air has it. I think it's the letter A. The letter A. Yeah. Um, while I am in air, I am not in oxygen. That's correct. But I'm also Neil Patrick Harris, yes. Um, but not in Bob Smith. I am necessary in the game, because you're an A in the game, but I'm not in the rules. What am I? The letter A. 23 is <clears throat> the letter A. I keep forgetting to show you guys the cards. I hope it's not too bad that I just keep reading without going in. Well, I am the first word, so, yeah, the letter A is the answer, I think. I say it like I'm super confident, but, you know, I'll find out on the next card I'm actually wrong. <clears throat> okay. The letter A is also not in... Three? Here. The letter A is also not in stash, reward, or secret in number three. Number three, secret. Okay. Neil Patrick Harris has a secret, or has a box. Continue by using the clues in the cards below. So this is the last card of the set, and it says use the clue in the cards below. So here's the cards below, and you have to use the card, <laughs> the clues in the card below. So here's in the card, in the cards. This is kind of a cool box. It is magnetic, and it looks like a secret thing. People pick it up, they're like, what the heck? But it opens very simply. Okay, so we have one, a two, ooh, a holocoin with a cipher around the side. Okay, I'll, I'll show these off in a second. And three. Looks like an ID card. And nothing else inside. It looks like it's got a little scratched up from the coin in there. Uh, through probably all the shaking and jostling through shipment. Okay, we're gonna keep these over here. Again, I don't think we need the cards anymore, but we'll find out. I'm sorry. I take it back. I think we need these cards, at least. The chewed ones. 
Because I don't know if they even fit together or what's going on there, but they don't fit together. They fit. They kind of fit. Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll get there. We'll get there. So we got chewed card still. <clears throat> doing okay on time. I might cut this into two videos here in a second, but we're doing okay. We got a little piece of paper. We got a coin. We got an ID badge. Let's look at the little piece of paper first. Hopefully this one focuses better. Hello, if you are reading this, thank you already. My name is Martin Maloney. I can't say much now, but Neil has kidnapped me and I need your help. I created a pair of keys, quote unquote keys, inside the stack of challenge cards ju you just played. You will need to use those torn key cards to access a secret compartment inside this game. Remove the black plastic tray from the game box. Locate the three keyholes underneath. Insert the keys and push. Good luck. I'm counting on you, Martin. Aha! Really? So we were supposed to uh, undo this part and then put the keys in here. So let's go ahead and figure these out. I will break up my order here. I don't think the order of cards matters anymore. But let's take these, put them together, and put them here. Now, I don't see how this does anything. They have to go this way. This isn't push. Nothing's happening. <laughs> what? I'll do it here. You can see on here. It says and push. Maybe they have to be in the box. Let's let's try it with it braced. It goes in here. I feel like I'm gonna break the cards. I'm gonna break the cards before I break anything else. Maybe you have to do it at a side like this or something. Nope, just <laughs> just bend the cards. <laughs> what? what is going on? I don't see how this is going to hit anything. It looks like I'm just pushing it into plastic. Let's try this again. I created a pair of keys inside the stack of challenge cards you just played. You will need to use those torn key cards to access a secret compartment inside this game. Remove the black plastic tray from the game box. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's do this. Oh, I think, yeah, okay. So it's supposed to be like this. That's it. You find here, you remove it, you push this down like this. And it pops that off. That's it. That's all you're supposed to do. Okay, yeah, we already did that. And then you get this. Okay, so those are for this. Okay. Remove the black plastic tray from the box, locate the three coins, and push the keys. I'm, good luck. I'm counting on you. Okay. Um, again, I think this is magnetic. Um, didn't I have something else that was magnetic? This was magnetic, and this was. This? Okay, no idea, guys. No idea. That's okay. We're done with that, anyway. Okay, so I believe a little piece of paper is done, unless you have to burn it or something, or something crazy, but I'm not going to try to ruin that. Okay. We have a box one key. This is kind of a nice little keepsake, I guess. It says, box one, I'll zoom in here. It says at the top, theory two, which is the logo, I guess, for and then box one, and it says, presented by Neil Patrick Harris. There's teeth on the side, just like a normal coin, but there's a cipher wheel in the middle that goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, all the way across to Z. I think everyone is there. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Yes. And I'm sure it goes with something in here, because this is like the last bit in here. Unless we can figure out how to open this little tray in here. There's, like, that insert feels a little thick. Feels a little thick. Not too sure why. And then we got our key card here with a, a thumbprint looking thing on the back. We still have our card in the freezer that has some notes. We got U equals A, we got E equals zero or O or something. That looks like it. That looks like a zero to me. Okay, so let's see what's inside here. I think this is the next step. This makes me so happy. It's not a real one. But I really like floppy disks. I think these are cool. Or flippy, or I call them A disks. These are super cool. It doesn't move, it doesn't work. It, it does, it's actually like, it feels a little bit bigger and bulkier than a normal one. Stuff is moving around here, but I think there's something else in here. Yeah. Oop, another piece of paper. 
This guy got captured, but he had a lot of time while he was captured to make all this extra stuff and stash it away. <clears throat> okay, so we got... <laughs> okay. Okay. Um... Yeah, okay. I'm trying to remember all the details we have in here. Okay, so here, here we go. Neil Patrick, so this is clearly Neil Patrick Harris, and then SS is what, super secret or something? Secret stash or secret stuff? Something like that. Okay. First up, we got this little card that says, go through all the clues to find the next step. The key lies in this note. Combine and, combine and the, ch oh, and then it goes like this. You can fold it here. Hmm. Combine and chain the clues to navigate this web of mystery. The proposed site is found by folding this clue. Okay, we gotta fold it here on this line, I think. Not sure if we could do it this way or not, but maybe not. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Go to keychain website. Go to keychain website. We gotta go to so on the keychain there is a website here, Neil Patrick Harris NPHgames.com slash staff. Gotta go there. <clears throat> okay. Before we do that, let's keep looking at all their stuff here. We got this thing, which I don't it, this might open up. It feels like there's stuff inside. There we should be able to do stuff. There should be something. We'll figure this out. Um, but we're not gonna do that one now. We got a fortune telling or fortune what a fortune cookie fortune. A fortune. And it says a dubious, I'll just read this here. But it looks like this. A dubious friend may be an enemy in camouflage. Lucky numbers are 12. I'm going to write these at the very top of my page here. 12 7 80 3 29 89. Okay. And then finally, we have a peanut butter card. Peanut butter cup loyalty card. We have nine, it looks like nine stamps. <clears throat> we get our free one with 10. Not sure what to do with this, but that's okay. Okay, so I think the next thing to do is go to this website, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, we will go to www. I wish I could show you, but oh well, I'll explain what's going on. Games.com slash staff. I actually probably could. Let me let me figure this out. So NPH, okay, so we got our thing here. Yeah, let me go ahead and bring this up, because I think this is important. I didn't know I would have to use the internet, so I didn't prepare this, but I think we should be okay. Um, I have to add a window capture. Um, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. And you guys can see this. I'll cut off the top there. Okay. Cool. So it says employee name. I'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see. And then I'll put it behind my beautiful face. Move that up. Um, and that goes here. Like that. And you can see me and the thing at the same time. Um, the desk is still there. You can still see my hands move. This almost looks like a pill thing. <laughs> okay, uh, NPH Games, employee name. We're going to put in right here. Uh, let's see. Like this. Oh, I could just do this. I'm, I'm dumb. I'm a dummy. Martin Maloney. Yeah, we're going to put in Martin Maloney. Martin. Martin with an E. Maloney. Uh, and then we need a, a code. Folding this, there's a secret, MPH, where is our, I think we can use these numbers here. These, da, 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 da. There, those numbers there that I said before. 12, let's try this. I have no idea if these are, these will work, but 12, I don't even know if there's the right number. 80, no, there's way too many. 3, 29, 89, 89. Thumbprint identification reveals the shape. What? Thumbprint identification reveals this shape. Play button? P-L-A-Y. No. There's a little play button on here. Again, you... I don't know. Keys. Hmm. Well, this might be where I get stuck. I kind of want to cut the video here. It's been about an hour, so I want to cut the video anyway. But why am I looking at my keyboard? Oh, uh, let's see. Equals zero challenge cards. We got equals there, we got that, we got this. 23, 10, 16, 14. Then it says dash, so maybe minus. 
That doesn't make any sense. Then it would be negative. 2, 4, 6, 8 letters, though, or digits. Can I write? I'll see if I can put in letters. I can put in letters, too. Hmm. Chief Innovation, MPH Games. I almost want to hit the help button. If that takes me to the answers here. Stop warning, SOS. This screen is not part of the game. It is intended to use only if you truly actually get stuck and can't go on. If you're stuck, click the link below for some helpful hints. Otherwise, let's pretend like nothing happened. Yeah, I'm not doing that then. I wasn't sure if that was part of the game or not. And it tells me it's not. So wait, that's that's fair. Employee name, Martin Maloney. <laughs> Norton's like, are you sure you want to log into this thing? Hmm. Thumbprint identification reveals the shape. Racetrack? R-A-C-E-T-R-A-C. -E -E no, that's wrong. It says thumbprint identification. You guys can hear. If I do this and move that. There. Thumbprint identification reveals this shape. An oval? Oval is part of it, I guess. Oval, oval. Oval, oval. Log in. Hmm. Martin Maloney seems right, though. There's a fly. A dubious friend may be an enemy in camouflage lucky numbers. <clears throat> if you're reading this, thank you already. My name is Martin Maloney. I can't say much now, but Neil has kidnapped me and I need your help. I created a pair of keys inside the stack of challenge cards you just played. You will need to use those torn keys cards to access a secret compartment inside the game. Remove the back plastic, the black plastic tray from the lot. Look, they get the 300 holes underneath. Insert the keys and push. Good luck. I'm counting on you, Martin. Go through all the clues to find the next step. The key lies in this note. Combine the key, chain. Combine and chain the clues to navigate this web of mystery. The proposed site is found by folding this clue. Okay, so it says... I think we have to do it through this one. But I don't know how to do that. This is going through an H. I need eight. I need eight, buddy. How do you find eight? There's one sentence, two sentences, three sentences, four sentences. The first and last letter of every single sentence. There's no way this is right. There's no way this is right. But that's G, P, T, E. C, Y, T, E. I'm gonna think that's a no. I don't have to use the cipher yet. That's, this is really strange. I don't even know where I would use this. I think I've got I've touched all the pieces. Maybe not this one. Maybe the, maybe I have to put it in here or something. Maybe I have to open this somehow. There's definitely something inside this. There we go. There's my little cipher. Cool, I just had to open this then. Here we go. How to use the decoder. Place the two decoder pieces together. You'll discover ciphers, codes hidden throughout the game. Line up the outer ring with the inner ring letters in, from the cipher codes. Uh-huh. I got a cipher. That's cool. So this is the same thing. It's just a... Okay, so before we do the, the website again, let me minimize this so we can look at this stuff together. We'll keep that there in case I do anything interesting. Um, this is a cipher wheel. The outside wheel is going in order, uh, clockwise order. The, uh, the the inner one is going in, in its alphabetical order or counterclockwise order. Um, and you can rotate. It's just it just rotates nicely. It just fits and rotates, uh, fits and rotates. Um, so you can line it up and then. So we got e, U equals A and E equals zero to do stuff. You'll discover cipher codes hidden throughout the game. Line up the outer ring with the inner ring letters from the cipher clues. Replace each letter from the coded message with new letters found on the decoder ring. Yeah. So this is a cute little box. There's nothing else inside it though, I guess. So we got two little things. We got U equals A. So we line up U and A. Uh, maybe the inner U is the outer A. But it kind of can go either way, I think. I don't think. Because now u equals, oh, u equals a, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of not really that familiar in uh, 
proficient with um, with cipher co codes, so I got to be careful. Uh, and then, what else was I going to say? So then U, and then E equals 0, or E equals O. We'll go with that one, too. E equals O, and the other one, E equals O. Yeah, okay, so that doesn't matter. You can do it either way. But let's start with U equals A. Um, you'll discover cipher clues hidden throughout the game. We had four words from the from the cards. I, I don't think we're done with the cards yet. I'm gonna double check all these and make sure because maybe there's a cipher clue somewhere. You are the one. I wonder if U equals one, E equals zero, and then we just go with U equals A for the ciphers. I wonder if that is a zero. Maybe that's not a cipher. U equals A is definitely a cipher though. Cipher code. Seriously, stop. Play. Capital of what country? Famous is circled. What does famous translate into if you if you cipher it like this? Okay, we're gonna use another piece of paper here. I think we're done with this little note on the pen too, so I think that's fine. Okay, so U equals A. Famous. So I'm gonna write famous here. F A M O U S. We got F equals P. I think all P's equal F. Yeah. So once you put a letter with anything, one A. A equals B, B equals A kind of thing. So that's okay. So A equals U. Fa M equals I. This is P-U-I. This isn't really making much sense to me. O equals G. Quig. I put A equals U, right? Yeah. U equals A. And S equals C. This is what I got. Doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, let's look at another word. Our second word was stories. S is C. T is B. O is G. R is D. I is M. E is Q. And this makes even less sense. And then S is C again. However, I think we might have one of these being eight letters. Stories is seven. Movie is five. Never mind, I lied. They're all uh, six, seven. Stories is seven. Movie and win are all five. But let's go ahead and do movie for fun. Movie and win. M. This is a cute little wheel anyway. M equals I. O equals G. V equals Z. Oh my god. <laughs> I equals M and E equals Q. And then win is Y. W is Y. I is M. And N is... I think we had that one before, but that's okay. N is H. Ah, okay, so these are my final notes, and none of that makes sense. Hmm... little fly. I don't know if I got it. Um, interestingly enough, Neil Patrick Harris Games, NPH Games, is an eight-letter word. So let's try that one. NPH Games. NPH Games. I'm just looking for five-letter words at this point, or eight-letter words at this point. So NPH Games is... N is H, I think. I'm remembering. P is F. H is N now. G is O. A is U. I know that one already. Uh, M is I. E is, I want to say H, but that's wrong, Q. S is C. Okay, so we again have nonsense. We have nonsense there. But at least it's an eight letter word. So let's go ahead and try that. Um, H, F, N, O, U, I, Q, C. I will try uppercase just for fun. H, yeah, F, N, O, U, I, Q, C. I'm not even sure I'm getting this right anymore. Let me double check. Let me get re reset this. Oh, you're seeing all my stuff. Oh, no, that window doesn't pop open for the, the camera. That's good. 
Okay, we're gonna type in this guy's name again. Um, Martin Maloney. Um, H F N O U I Q C. Thumbprint identification reveals this shape. What does that mean? T I R -A T S. Yeesh. Do I have to scan this? Is this a Q? It can't be a QR code. That doesn't make any sense, but I'm gonna. No, I don't even know where my phone is right now. Hmm. Hmm. We'll discover cipher codes hidden throughout the game. We got MPHSS, which is fine. I wonder. No, that's just HFN at CC. Index is on here. This is kind of cute, though, that the fact that this opens. Keep thinking like there's going to be more in this. Ugh, okay, let's see. Where If I was a code, where would I be? There's the A equals U code. There's the code on the in the freezer. Do I need to go get that thing now? I wrote that down, didn't I? I wrote it down here. Hmm. These are all numbers. There's eight of them, and each one could be a letter. We learned 23 is W, right? So we got W, 10 is, 9 is I, W, or 10 is J. 16 is OP, 14 is N, and then dash, I don't know why there's a dash. 21 is U, 13 is M, 7 is G, and 22 is V. If we put this through the cipher, if we put this through the cipher, this part here is through the cipher, W is Y, J is L. <laughs> P is, oh my god, F, N is, I was hoping for real words here, N is H, ah, U is, might as well continue, U is A, oh I should have known that one, M is I I think, yep, G is O, and V is Z. Okay, <laughs> I say we try both of these. So I'm gonna do W J P N U M G V. I don't understand the th the thumbprint identification. It reveals the shape. That's the weirdest part on here for me. Y L F H A I O Z. Login. Nah. Why do you make your password so hard, there, buddy? The chain doesn't have anything to do with anything. I put this around. No, that doesn't work. I'm trying to do this. A maze? Oval maze. Oval maze. Password is oval maze. Clearly. Maze oval. Ugh. What shape is this? A torus? An oval. A track. Car track. There's like a triangle in the middle too. Can you guys see that? There's a triangle in the middle of this thing. No idea why. Can I show you here? What the heck? Oh, I hate to like get stumped here. This is, I feel like I've gone, gotten so far. I've gone so far. There's nothing else in this box. There's nothing else with this stuff, I think. I could take this apart. This is actually pretty, it, look, it feels like actual cards are just stuck together here. Like they made, they put these together, glued them together, made a machine and cut them out kind of thing. This is, this is not plastic. This is just card. 
but I don't think there's anything between them. Oh, there's a hole as I break it open. There's like holes drilled. I think that's for the magnets. I just broke it. <laughs> ah. Oh, shoot. What do I do now? E equals zero. Thanks, Neil. What does that mean? What does it mean? What does it all mean, Basil? Oh, my God. Dios mio. Famous quote. There's a number there. Paris. What is that? Trifles. I need an eight letter password from the previous card. Win. I didn't see blue. Where was blue? Blue was circled. Win was 14. Here we go. We continue our thing here. 16, blue. Any other circles? Any other circles? Any other circles? I, I am so bad at this, guys. 21 is silent. Number 22 is athlete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, 23. And oxygen. How did I not get all these circled words? Oxygen. Where am I 24 at? Okay, my cards are completely out of order because of everything. One, two, three. None of these are circled. I'm going to take the first letter from all those and make a thing out of it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, uh, nineteen. I'm sorry. I should do this on camera so you're not totally bored watching me count <laughs> count on a YouTube video. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five. Okay. So twenty three had oxygen. Let's go there. Twenty three had oxygen. Uh, twenty two had athlete. Twenty three had oxygen. Twenty four was fine. Twenty five. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna put famous. We're gonna. I don't even know. So we're gonna go F. Famous is F. Stories, movie, bl win, blue, silent, athlete, oxygen, and pray that this makes sense in the cipher. This is P. S is C. Shoot. <laughs> M is I. P C I. Great. Super. W, Y, B, T. This isn't making any sense. Oh, S, C, A is U, O is G. We're going to try both of these. I don't know why. I'm at wit's end at this point. F, S, M, W, B, S, A, O. Login. Nah. P, C, I, Y, T, C, U, G, E. Log in. No. I'm wondering, I seriously wonder if I put E equals zero or e equals O. We'll pretend that's an O now and we'll do it here. So F, S. F is an N. S is a, an A. N, A is better than P, C for starting a word. M is G. We got N, A, G. W is W. <laughs> We got nag w. Okay, b is r. We got s is a. No, this is worse off, I think. O is e. Nag race. E s a r. E -S. That almost looks like a, a crypt. Oh, what are those called? Jumble, a word jumble. N-A-G-W-R-A-S-E. Uh, this is why they give you paper. Oh my god. Famous stories, movie, win, blue, silent, athlete, oxygen. What the heck does that have to do with anything? I feel like I'm missing something obvious too, which is kind of annoying. And our numbers here are 12, 7, 83, 29, 89. So the 80 and the 29 and the 89 go beyond the 26 letters of the alphabet. Hmm. But we did have W, J, P, N. We might as well try that one with E equals O instead of E equals 0. So let's try that. W is W. J is? J is J. Oh, my God. This is not right. P equals D. N equals F. 
u equals I think this has got a shout out uh, when you get it. It's like, yeah, that's the right answer. It's got to be like narwhal or something. So an actual word where you're like, yeah, I found a word. That's right. Um, so I'm going to stop there. This is the right track. Do, 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 do. Challenge cards. Challenge. C-H-L. That's more than eight. Create a pair of keys. That's useless. Go through all the clues to find the next step. The key lies in this note. Combine the chain and chain. Combine and chain the clues. Combine and chain the clues. You can't chain anything to this. Nothing else has a hole in it. You know what would be hilarious? If somehow this does something. You take the chain off. You put it in the pen gap. This is where I am right now, guys. This is, this is my thought process. Put this in the pen cap and something miraculous happens. Chick? No. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be quite the stellar thing. I think I want to keep taking the pen apart. I think it's funny that nothing tells you to take the pen apart so far, but I did that and it worked. There's a ring in here. There's a ring there, but that doesn't do anything. No, otherwise it's just normal pen, I think. What did I find at the bottom? To the pen found on the bottom of the box, game box to push to open. Yeah, so let's take a look at our map that we had there. I'm gonna put the chem pen cap back on because that doesn't really do anything there. Okay. Let's look here. Let's look here. And I almost want to unfold this, but I don't think you need to. Oh, you can, and you do. So this needs to come out somehow. Maybe like this, and you just pry this open. There we go. Manhandle, and there we go. There's the full map there. Listen to the voicemail from March. Oh my god. Cipher password. So the, Okay, so this has the ciphers on it, but unfortunately, the cipher passwords are not enough to get into there. Then we got cipher passwords here. So this is the full map. This is kind of cool. Give you a better look here. Better look see. So we got northeast, southwest. For sure there. Why is the N backwards? The W is whatever. The E is correct. The S is the N is backwards. No, it's not. I'm stupid. No, we're fine. <laughs> Just weird font. Okay, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy! Okay, so we went from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6. That makes sense. I feel like the rest of this is going to be through the website. This fly wants to play with me. There is nothing with this other than it's a thick bottom. That's what she said. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, so the map is cool. We need to do the map, but it's not there yet. So we got Neil Patrick Harris. We got this. We got index with five letters. We got Neil Patrick Harris with five letters. Use How to use the decoder. We got this. This helps us with the decoder thing. Maybe we're not supposed to do that yet. Maybe we're supposed to do this. It says, go, go to the keychain website. We did that. And then we have to thumbprint identification reveals this, reveals this shape. I'm gonna look up thumbprint shape. What's what is, what is the print? What is a thumbprint shape called? I'm running out of time here. I gotta run print shape name. Okay, you got loop. You got arch. Loop, whirl, and arch. Loop arch. Just because that together those make four letters. This is a whirl, but this fingerprint is a whirl. Circular. No way. Thumbprint identification reveals this shape. Oh my god. What if I type in thumbprint identification? Oh, it's going to give me the answer to this actual thing. A 
Okay, we got radial loop, we got ulnar loop, we got double loop, we got central pocket, plain arch, tented arch, plain whirl, and accidental accident. No, that's too many. Yeah, a lot of these are giving me links. I'm trying not to, to even look at them. I can't believe how stuck I am on this one spot. Chief Innovation Officer. Rectangle. R-E-C-T-A-N-G-L-E. -E. Fridge. Box one. I don't think this is ciphered. I think we're, this is just a normal game, a normal thing. Maybe this is Neil Patrick Harris games. That'd be funny. And I still don't know if I'm doing this right. Innovation. Too many officer. Too few. He likes peanut butter. I do too. Buttercup, peanut cup. Buttercup. That's too many. It's too few. Oh my god, I can't do this. Loyalty card. Reese's? R E E S E F. That's too many. P E A N U T. Butter. Thumbprint identification. What the heck is the point of this card? This is a red herring? What? What is this? Loyalty card. Oh my god. <laughs> Quite the head scratcher. How did I get lost here? I was doing so well. I got stuck a little bit, but I did so well. If you look here, maybe the barcode has something there. That almost looks like Braille. That those little dots there almost looks like Braille. But it's not, because Braille is what, three, and this is the, the dots are off. Arr. It's like a YouTube play button, but YouTube is seven letters. YouTube P. Play icon. <coughs> I'm gonna have to call it here. I gotta go do stuff. Um, I'll try to resume this later, but... Darn. Anyway, if you watched this far, thank you for watching, and we'll continue in the next video. I promise not to cheat. See you.